Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and today is a little bit different start to the video compared to my uh, the rest of the videos on my channel. So I am actually sitting in the parking lot of a company called <clears throat> Fox Valley Sandblasting, and basically what they what I'm doing here today is I'm dropping off some tips. So what we're looking at here is the new five inch exhaust tips that B2 Fabrication just released. So you can see there that it's uh, etched their logo there. Uh, but basically you could buy these for the 2008 and up Rams. So there's one set for the 2008 to 2018. And then for the 2019 to the 2020s, there's a different set. And I suspect it's because this little collar here is a little bit longer. But what you get is you have two options. You can either get the chrome tips or you can get the black powder coated tips. I went to order the tips the other day and I wanted to buy the black ones because obviously it'll match my Rebel pretty nicely, but they did not have the black ones in stock. So what I opted to do is I purchased a set of the chrome tips and I figured, ah, screw it, I got time. Uh, so I'll bring it to a powder coater. That way I could pick out the exact finish I want on here. That way it matches my bumper perfectly. So I'll leave a description or a link to these in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop off this tip as well as, or I'm sorry, I got both of them. I'm gonna drop off both these tips. And then I actually brought my brother-in-law's MBRP tips. So if you go a few videos back, you'll see that I installed a lightning style MBRP system on his uh, Silverado. And he's been dying to go to a black exhaust tip as well. So I cleaned them up as best I could. Um, and then I'm gonna drop these off as well. So I think it's about 20 bucks per tip to get them powder coated and we'll get them flat black or matte black or something of that sort. But um, yep, so I'm gonna drop off his tips, my tips, and then hopefully the next couple days we could pick them up and get them thrown on the, uh, the Ram Rebel. Okay, in full transparency, I've always wanted to do this ever since starting my YouTube channel. So we got the chrome exhaust tips here and then boom, and we are done. So I dropped these tips off yesterday and and they are complete. They look awesome. So basically what I had them do is powder coat uh, just from the weld to the back of the tip. I wanted to leave this raw steel uh, the way it is. This is the way the factory black tips come. So I figure why not just keep it the same here. And since you don't see this, I'd rather less powder coat. Uh, I think less is more on these things. And just for kicks here, these are my brother-in-law's tips from his MBRP system. Same color as well. He used these for a little while, so he had a little bit of rust on there. So they did a really good job at sandblast and getting that rust off there. And they powder coated the outside as well as the inside on both the tips. I'll leave their information down in the description below. Uh, but overall, very happy. Uh, about 25 bucks per tip here uh, for them to do it. Super friendly people, uh, easy to talk to. We contacted them on Facebook and uh, within I think 24 hour or within an hour of getting these in the mail from B2 Fabrication, I was on my way to drop these off with them. So super flexible company to work with, even considering all the COVID crap that's going on. But I am pretty excited to get these installed on the Rebel. Okay, so we got the truck backed into the garage and it's time to start replacing the tips. Now this is a super easy project. The fact that I'm filming is gonna take a little bit longer than what it honestly would take you to do this in your own driveway. Uh, but you only need one tool, uh, but a, a little tip here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take an old sock and I'm gonna slip it around the factory tip. That way when I'm removing it, if I bump any of the bumpers, since this is textured black, it's probably a little bit more prone to scratch. Uh, the sock is there just to protect it. Also, I wanna keep these in good shape because ultimately I'm gonna use these in the winter and then I'll go back to my other tips in the summer. Not that I have any fears that the powder coating is not gonna last, but honestly, I don't wanna risk it. Um, and I have these tips and I already went through one winter with them, so might as well make these my winter tips. Plus the resale market on these tips right now is, is kinda of crappy, so I'll just keep hanging on to them. So if you wanna remove your exhaust tips here, you're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket and you're gonna go ahead and completely remove this clamp here. I say completely that way uh, it's easier to get this tip off the ball and socket joint that it's holding on to. So you go ahead and use 13 millimeter, back that guy off there after I put the sock on here so it protects it from hitting the bumper. And then we're gonna take our tips which are stored in my kid's crap which is everywhere on the garage right now because of the coronavirus and they don't leave the house anymore. Uh, but we're gonna take your tips and we're gonna slip these on. But again, uh, similar with the sock, I'm gonna leave the bubble wrap on there until I can get this uh, attached. That way, in the unlikely event that it does fall, it's protected, but also I wanna protect the finish on this from the bumper too, cause that will probably scratch it and then we can get everything going. So let's go ahead and remove the factory tips. God, they look so dinky compared to the five inches. Okay, so tip number one is installed. Let me get a little rag here. All right, so uh, like I said, pretty easy. 13 millimeter bolt releases the clamp on here, put a socker on the stock one so you don't scratch your bumper or the tip itself. 
pull that tip off there, then slide the B2 one on there, and then you're gonna need to wrap the, the OEM clamp around the joint just to hold everything together. And then what I did on this one is I took the clamp and I flipped it up so the bolt's up on top. That way it's not getting uh, nailed with any sort of road grime. But overall, I think that tip looks awesome compared to the tiny little factory one. So there's the factory tip and my new B2 tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other one and uh, we'll come back before I close out the video. I'll come back with a daytime shot. I know at night it's not as easy to see black exhaust tips. So uh, let me get that uh, passenger side one done and then we'll get uh, kind of a full view of everything. All right, I figured I'd do a once over real quick uh, while I got some daylight here since last night I was kind of losing it and it's really hard to see the black tips. But there they are on the truck in all its glory. Truck's a little dirty. But you get the picture here. Uh, the black powder coat was definitely the way to go, especially on the Rebel. It gives it a nice discreet look. And the five inch tips definitely fill in the uh, the bumper holes for the exhaust tips much better than the OEM ones did. But on that note, why don't we fire it up for a second? Truck's a little warm. Nice. Take care.